Hey guys, we're going to do an oil change and a couple other things to this 2018 Toyota Tundra. I just rolled over about 30,000 miles. And uh, we're going to add the metal oil filter housing. Uh, we've got a Toyota oil filter. I did go ahead and, at the suggestion of a few people, get one of these Motivex uh, oil filter housing wrenches. Uh, it seems to be made of really good quality. And we're actually going to change out the old drain plug to this Fumoto oil valve it's supposed to be really easy to change your oil it's also pretty solid i've looked it over quite a bit all right let's get started there are five bolts holding on the skid plate and then three bolts with a phillips screw head on these you have to undo all of them and then you will actually shift the skid plate over and it'll drop down. So, let's get started. The oil pan is fairly narrow. It takes a 14 millimeter socket or wrench to undo it right there. All right, so once all the oil was drained out, we're gonna give this a pretty good wipe. Uh, maybe a little bit more. Then we're gonna take the Fumoto valve. We're just gonna screw it in place of the drain plug. And I was a little skeptical about this at first, just because I live in New Hampshire, there's a bunch of snow banks and all that. So I was kind of, I was kind of worried about how low this is going to hang down. But you can get one with a, uh, a longer nipple to attach a drain hose to. Um, you can opt with a shallow nipple like what I have, or one without any nipple at all that comes, it's got a, instead of the nipple, it's got a block off plate right out where that, the edge of that nut is. So, but it's right where the cross member is. It looks pretty protected. Um, plus I don't go mudding or out in the woods a whole lot. I just mainly use my truck for work. So, it also comes with um, this little retainer clip that uh, ensures that that lever can't accidentally come out. Um, I would recommend tightening it. When you do tighten it, uh, tighten it on the actual valve, not on the nut. Um, it says it all over the packaging. So, we'll go from there. So I tighten it another uh, eighth of a turn-ish. Um, so <clears throat> when you, whenever you go to install the clip, it can only really go on one way. Um, where the lever is right there, um, it's going to go right through that slot. And it'll sit just like that. And that way that the lever can't accidentally come up and let all your oil out. So, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to... Uh, release all the oil out of this oil filter housing right here. Um, it's gonna take a 3 8 drive. You're gonna install it. Obviously righty tighty lefty loosey. It'll drip out a little bit, that's fine. Um, I'm gonna go grab the uh, little doohickey that came with the filter and it should be able to insert it into the valve and drain all the oil. This is the little doohickey that I was talking about. You're just going to push it in and watch the magic. And try not to get any oil on yourself like this. So while this is draining, I kind of wanted to touch base on this uh, Motivex Tools oil filter housing wrench. Um, I used to work in an auto parts store, and a lot of them that I found were kind of made out of sheet metal. This is definitely well made. It's very thick. Um, I don't see myself breaking this at all, doing an oil change. Um, but I will definitely say 
props for uh, Motivex tools. We definitely make good quality product. So this has been draining for a couple minutes. Uh, I'm not gonna say I'm impatient, but it's only a very small stream. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull the nipple off and it should stop. And I'm gonna apply the uh, Motivex filter wrench and it should come right out. Like I said, it's a pretty good quality product. I mean, you put it on and it actually stays on so you can grab a 3 8 drive ratchet or you can use the uh, a socket on this part and uh, give it a turn. I actually already pre-loosened this because um, well, the uh, tech at the dealership was, I guess, was a fucking behemoth and uh, way over torqued this. Thought I was going to break it, but that's also one of the reasons why I went ahead and purchased the uh, metal oil filter housing and that's why we're going to swap it out. Down she goes. So as you can see, uh, the filter is dirty. I went a little bit longer than probably what I should have. Uh, a few hundred miles, miles past 30,000. Um, so one thing I do see that's different on the housings is this tube that's going to need to get swapped over so the oil filter can filter properly. So. so in case you didn't know, um, in order to get this tube out, you're gonna take a flathead down there. You just give it, give it a little turn to where it's perfectly vertical on both sides. Then you're gonna depress it Push down and twist. And it'll come right out. Swap it over from the plastic oil filter housing to the metal. Reverse the order and you should be good to go. I went ahead and used the flathead to do it. To move those little flaps. I'm going to take it out. Now you do have to be very careful um, with the those little tabs because at the end of the day it's very very thin gauge metal. I'm pretty sure the more you mess with it, the easier it will be to break off. And then, I mean, you have to have this, so you're gonna have to probably go see a dealership. But I'm gonna remove the spring from that one and just install this one. So I pushed it in, turned it, and now we're going to take those tabs and bend them back down. Like I said, try to be a little careful with them. Oh, yeah. The more you bend them, the easier the uh, metal will be to break. And now we're going to put the oil filter on it. And we'll go in and install it. Before we install it, we're going to take this O-ring. And we're going to put it in that little channel right there. So I do always uh, run some oil on every O-ring that I install. Um, it actually comes with another o-ring in the filter kit that's going to go right here. Like I said, you're going to want to lube it up and go from there. That uh, drain plug that we took off with the 3 8 ratchet is going to get swapped over to this one. And I'm sure this goes without saying, but give it a good wipe down. Um, like I said, lube up the o-ring 
and then go ahead and install this. Obviously, you're going to want to tighten it with a 3 h drive ratchet. So once tightened, everything looks pretty well, uh, pretty cohesive. It looks a lot better than the uh, than the plastic filter housing. Uh, not that you're going to be looking up under here every time anyway, but we'll go ahead and fill her up with oil, double check the leaks, and get her started.